you were ready to give up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? Welcome to all uh, all of you actually tuning in, I think, from Twitter and Facebook and Twitch and all the things. You guys are fantastic. Uh, welcome to another episode of the ACR Show. We're going to kick things off with a little bit of a tournament update by the one and only Michael Lunkar. What's up, guys? It's Michael Longcar, America's Card Room Sponsored Pro, here to deliver the Longcar's picks. These are my highlighted tournaments of the day for today on America's Card Room, Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. And as always, all of these start times for these tournaments are in Eastern Standard Time Zone start times. At 2 p.m., it's the $55, $100,000 guaranteed. First place is usually above, it's always above, $13,000. This tournament runs every day of the week at the same start time. Today, it's a special tournament. This runs every Wednesday and Thursday. Day 1A is today. Day 1B is again running tomorrow on Thursday. It's called The Accumulator. It's a $22 buy-in, $100,000 guaranteed. And it's called The Accumulator because every week that this tournament goes over the guarantee, ACR will increase the prize pool on it by $10,000 the following week. Day two for this starts every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I actually made it to the final two tables of this tournament last week. I can't wait to play it again. What a great tournament. It's a great structure. Risk $22. Last week, first place was over twelve dollars or $13,000. I'm trying to remember. It was twelve or $13,000. That's incredible for a $22 buy-in. At 3 p.m. today, it's a $33, $60,000 guaranteed. At 3 p.m. today also is a crazy good value tournament out there for you low-stakes grinders trying to get that bankroll boost. It's a $2.20 buy-in, $8,000 guaranteed, where first place is always a four-digit payday. Gotta love that. At 3.30 p.m. today, it's the two value tournaments that run Monday through Friday. Today, it's a 109 buy-in, $50,000 guaranteed, and also a $16.50, $50,000 guaranteed. And Sign of the Beast at 4 p.m. today, it's a $66, 60K 6 max. And here I've highlighted three really good value satellite tournaments to get you into the 109 million and the 265 million. Gotta take advantage of those. Cheap ways to get into big tournaments. Gotta love it. At 5 p.m., it's the 109 buy-in, 1 million guaranteed. The past two Sundays, first place in this has been $155,000. Day two is Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And these flights always take Four hours and 20 minutes from beginning to end, including breaks. Don't forget that. 420 for the win. At 5 p.m. today, it's the 10960K, followed by another great value satellite tournament at 505, the $27.50 buy in. 
satellite to get into the 265 milli. And at 7 p.m., this tournament runs every day of the week. 2750 buy-in, 50,000 guaranteed. First place is usually around $7,000. At 705, another great value satellite tournament. $11 buy-in that's guaranteeing top 10 a 265 ticket. At 730, for you high rollers out there, it's a 1050 buy-in, $50,000 guaranteed six max. At 740, a 215-40K six max. And at 745 p.m., my beloved $88 long car mega stack, $50,000 guaranteed. For those of you that don't have an America's Card Room account, make sure that you use the referral code lawn car when you create your acr account for a nice first time deposit bonus hope you guys have a great day today on the online tables hope you crush best of luck and now back to the man the myth and the legend justin kelly you guys have a good day All right, guys, that was Mr. Michael Longcar. Check him out, twitch.tv forward slash Longcar Poker. <clears throat> super good dude, super good vibes on his show. Keeps it very positive, very fun. Speaking of positive and fun, check this out. Here is the results for your million dollar guaranteed tournaments over the weekend. Once again, guys, every single Sunday in May, there's three, count them, one, two, carry the one, three, three million dollar guaranteed tournaments. The 109 you see there is actually accumulated from flights throughout the week, including an additional flight on Sunday. So uh, we, we did have about a 90K overlay in that one, and I believe we had the same last week, which is not too bad because that means as a player, you have to wade through less people for the same money. So that's not too bad there. Uh, call me now. Wow, does that bring back Miss Cleo memories to anybody? Call me now. Uh, taking it down, $109 parlayed into $155,000, not too shabby. I do know another popular streamer, Vanessa Cade, also made an extremely deep run in that. I think she got 55th out of 9,100 players, and as you all know, as a poker player, man, like, oh, you just make that super deep run, and they're like, hey, that's so good, you did great, you got like 1,500 bucks, and you're like, but it wasn't the bank, so congrats to you, Vanessa, I know that you'll get it soon enough, man. Uh, over to the next million guaranteed in the 265 buying category. Blew past that prize pool, an extra 100k or so in there, and ended up at about 4,300 players. Happy big luck ball taking that one down for 174k. I absolutely love some of these names. These are great. Uh, and last but certainly not least, look at this one. The third million dollar guaranteed at a 2650 buy-in ended up with a total prize pool of just shy of 1.5 actually. Really cool, really cool indeed. 576 players, and yes, 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 6969. Looks like the username my 13 year old brother would have made. But with that being said, if it's good for 272,000, then who really cares? Uh, we're gonna have a second little winner, winner, chicken dinner segment right here. And these are the tournaments that popped off yesterday, actually, the Extreme Tuesday 30k guaranteed. It's a high roller 8 max, so 630 buy in, uh, but almost tripled the guarantee there. 137 players and ended up with 19k for first 75k guaranteed also blew past its prize pool there at 112 109 dollar buy-in 1100 players making stacking shorties good for first at 20k now the thing i wanted to talk about was on the right hand side jackpot's hit so jackpot is that cool little button on the acr client that says jackpot so these are essentially sit and goes, right? They're three person sit and goes and you're gonna buy in for five bucks or 10 bucks or two bucks or any of that stuff. And you have a chance to win anywhere up to, I think a million dollars in the $5 one, right? So I just wanted to show you some of the multipliers that actually hit over the weekend. So in the $50 sit and goes, they hit 100X multiplier for 5K. And what's cool is you'll notice that even third place takes home 1500 bucks there. So for a $50 one, even if you absolutely bust out well, like first technically you just immediately implode you still get 1500 bucks but i think it's more cool for that two dollar sit and go at a 2500x multiplier same thing 5k 2k for first 1500 for second 1500 for third uh i just love that because the guys the type of players who play two dollar sit and goes i mean come on man banking a 5k multiplier is really 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 cool in that department so anyways just some things to take note of and when they hit i want to tell you about them so we're going to go on to the next segment and dissect some crazy cash hands in a little segment I call Torching Cash. Oh, 
Boom, I see you over there, Panty Lemon. Thank you for the follow. Shouts to you and everybody tuning in on all the platforms. You'll see my background now has been changed for the ultimate in Torching Cash experience. We're going to start this now in a 2550 no limit game here. We're going to crack off. Let's see where we're at here. So we're going to take the role of big blind here with king eight of diamonds. Looks like we're going to get some folds around over here to the cutoff who makes it 112 Dallas. And once again, guys, this is real money, not tournament chips. Egazi says, Torching Cash, what are we railing my table? Shouts to everybody in the chat there. I see a big mule, Translucent Fox, I got on it. Poker Boss, of course, my man. Doombot, Dr. Pest. Uh, what? Cat A1 from the 9. What's that, man? So we're going to raise to 112. It looks like the button's going to come along and flat. Small blind's getting out of the way. And we're just going to flat here. But it was suited. And that is about one of the sexiest flops we could hope for. Oh, Brevard, what's up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the follow. So, I'm digging this. We flop second nut flush draw and a gut shot. Straight draw. Let's go ahead and I could argue for a variety of things here. I think a check raise is probably ideal. And we can just start stuffing it in some, you know, let's see here. We're going to check. And 181 from our original Razor here. Yeah, it's Cat 1, these are replays of the largest cash hands over the past couple days. So these cash hands are hands that you might not normally see unless you caught it live. And they just implode into the ether. So I have them pick out the largest cash pots in both Hold'em and Omaha. And we just go over them and watch the madness, man. So $181 now. He's going to bet pretty much exactly half pot. The button's going to come along as well and flat. Now, what are we doing here, chat? Are we just getting hyper aggro and shipping and ripping? Because we have some fold equity still? Or are we... What are we doing here? I don't think we need a rip. I think we can come in for a raise for sure. I don't see a whole ton of folds. Yeah, okay. So I'd flat. There we go, says Doombot. So we'll just flat here, knock it out of control. Like some Ace of Hearts peels on the turn and we hate life, right? So I'm thinking we'll just flat. But let's see what our, uh, let's see what our hero wants to do. Nope, our hero is going to come in for a hefty raise here. <laughs> Dr. Best talking about Vegas as I do miss gambling in 7-Eleven, though. Oh, quarantine times. So we are going to pull in that check raise trigger here. 634 now. And let's see what our opponents do. We're just going to get a flat. And all right, so we do get a fold. So we're going to isolate the heads up now. Hopefully the turn is in our favor question mark. Oh wow. Okay. Well, yes and no it is in our favor However, if anybody has set Then they just boat it up. I guess seven six is kind of possible But in the range this guy originally opened so he would have to be like pocket fours pocket sixes Otherwise, we just hope he's got a random high pocket pair. I guess that doesn't include the ace of diamonds, right? And we are just going to go ahead and... This is why you flat the flop. I like it. So now we hit. So now what do we do, chat? So now do we check and let them fire? I mean, after we check raise, the chances if we check, they check behind. If we check, we could kind of be repping that we're afraid of the potential flush getting there. Let's see what we end up doing. Zola7 Banks, what's up? Welcome, welcome. So we're just going to fire 578 now. A healthy little less than third pot bet, actually. Actually, right about a third pot bet. And our opponent is just going to flat. So I guess I think what we're hoping for is obviously not a double board pair on the river and not an and not another diamond so the ace of diamonds gets there. And three of clubs peels. So this is actually okay because if they had a five and made a straight, hopefully we can get some of that value from them. It's a pretty safe card, all things considered. About 3k in the pot. We are going to fire half pot again. 1484. That's what we're doing. Big mule in the house. What's up? And our opponent is going to rip all in. So at this point, we're way too deep in this pot. I mean, we're just going to call off here and keep our fingers crossed that he doesn't have a boat. <laughs> a blue ace. Watch out for the blue ace. Yeah, I hope that they don't have a boat. You're right. Ace, queen of diamonds. Definitely a potential uh, candidate there. Any sort of ace of diamonds. Yeah, cry, call, and lose, right? I mean, I, I'm with you, Doombot. I, I, I'd rather cry, call, and win, but I think we're just gonna, we're gonna cry, call. And our opponent's gonna peel. Six is full. Yeah. 
Uh, must be nice when you raise and you bank your set on the flop, and then that is just the disco losing cash turn card for us here. That is just a rough one. So unfortunately, our second nut flush is no good for 9,000 bucks, so we're going to ship that pot right over here to seat four with sixes full. Ay chihuahua. Nahan, nahan. All right, on to the next one, on to the next one. Let's go, let's go. Let's see if we can get some of that money back. So we're going to take the position of Jack King suited in the big blind here. Doombot saying big blind could have pot controlled hard there and lost minimum out of position. Yeah, you know, and this is where I think a lot of players kind of struggle between just really getting that greed factor on and just going for all the chips, even when they don't necessarily have the stone cold nut. And you just kind of like, uh, question mark. Fold pre-flop better there. I mean, yeah, right, Lester, let's just avoid the whole thing and fold king eight diamonds pre. pre. I mean, like, I'm okay with that. King Jack suited here in the big for us. And we're going to get some folds around. And the button's going to open for one and a quarter. This is a 25-50 no limit hold'em game. And we are going to three bet click back. All right. I'm out of position. I mean, I could have justified just a flat there, but it looks like we're going to three bet back to 500. And I'm not liking life at this point. Now the button is going to go ahead and four bet back to 1125. I'm thinking that this is a way stronger hand and way better range than we're repping right here, or at least that we have. So I probably just find a fold, question mark. I mean, if I was this guy, I wouldn't have three bet in the first place, but who knows? I find a fold, but something tells me we're not going to. And we're going to go along to the flop. And that is about the juiciest flop we could hope for here. Jack high board. We hit top pair. Solid kicker along with the second nut flush draw. What is it with me and these king high flush draws today? But at least we have a sweet pair to go along with it. Uh, at this point with the pot being 2200, 3800. I mean, my fold button is almost broken. So let's see where this ends up. We're going to check over to the button. Of course, since they 4-bet us hard, I would imagine they're going to C-bet 100% of the time here. And they do. They fire 568 into 2200. And now, what do we do, guys? Do we come in here for the hit him with the check raise again? I don't know. Aggression pays. I say we hit him with the check raise. That's what we're going to do. Nope. We're just going to call. Just kidding. Just kidding. So we're going to call. We're going to peel a turn here. We're going to exercise some of that beautiful pot control you guys were talking about there in the chat. And Disco for us. That's great. It's obviously a club and a non-board pair, which we know ever so importantly from the last hand could be fatal. But Terra too, thanks for the follow. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining the fam. So at this point, let's see. We're going to go ahead and check it again. Now we're definitely going to hit him with a check raise. Question mark, right? And it looks like seat four is going to bet 800 there. 850 pots at the 4.2 now, so he bets 850 into 3400, and I he's pretty deep. I don't really know if he can ever find a fold here. I think we just rip four or five of clubs. Don't you say it, poker boss? Don't you even think it? Bot lady in the house. What's going on, girl? Good to see you. Don't you even think about four or five of clubs? Oh, I threw up a little bit. So now we're gonna hit him with that cheeky check raise. We are gonna stuff it. So 3300 from us. Our opponent is going to, I would assume, call off. I don't think they're folding here. And they sure are. Okay, so, guys, I'm putting our opponent on just an overpair. I'm putting our opponent on queens, kings, or aces. We're blocking kings, so maybe queens or aces would be my guess. What do you guys think? Talk to me in the chat. I think we're probably going to be queens or aces would be my guess. I mean, there's a world. Are they really four betting pre with ace and jack? I don't think so. I think we're looking at queens or aces. Kings, maybe, but yeah. Over Overpair with the club, says Doombot. All right, let's peep it. Kings, oh wow, okay, so even though we're blocking kings, he still shows up with kings, and we just have him drawing dead. So this feels really great to have a pot of $10,000 and your opponent drawing dead when they uh, call you all in. So yeah, ace, ace with the ace of clubs is what I was hoping not to see. So there you go, man. Wow, wow, wee wow. We are just gonna hit a fourth club on the river just for fun. Now that would have been funny. I mean, we were too deep in this pot if we had got to that point without getting it in, I think we still just call off, but we kind of hate this river right here. <laughs> we definitely hate this river because any ace of clubs just smokes us. So, yep. PLO hands coming right now, Mufasa. I thought you'd never ask. On to the next one. Let's go. This is going to be from a 2550 PLO game here. 
and we'll get out these blinds and we're gonna play from the big blind again here eight nine queen jack double suited all right <clears throat> not the nut draws but a very fun draw draw hand i guess you could say anywhere in the upper middle range of the board and we should have that thing wrapped up like cellophane let's see America First, this is not the new cash game software. This is simply a hand replayer from a website called Pokeit, P-O-K-E-I-T. And I just use this to replay all the hands with the hand histories they send me. So we're going to click through here. 175. Thanks for the love there, bot lady in the chat. Much appreciated. Uh, 175 here under the gun. And they're going to pop it up. And we're definitely going to at least come. I am thinking we're just coming for a flat here. I don't see any need to get out of control. But then again, what do I know, right? So every time I think we're gonna do something, we do the exact opposite. That's why I love poker. So we are gonna three bet up to 550. Mr. Profit, we do giveaways every stream, baby. All I'm saying is if you haven't done marble races, buckle up. Get a seatbelt on Amazon and we're gonna do it. For everybody else, by the way, who wants to be involved in the giveaway, watching on other platforms, make sure you also have a twitch.tv account. It's 100% free and you'll need that to play marbles. And we're gonna be giving away for 1650 tickets to ACR. Super easy, all you gotta do is type in one command in the chat and the rest is up to sheer luck. All right, so we are gonna three bet this to 550 and we're gonna get looked up. So now we're in this weird spot where we three bet 550 out of position. We don't have the nut draw to either spades or diamonds. Uh, I, I don't know, not my favorite spot, but we're gonna, we're gonna play it. All right, so we do end up flopping top two on a complete rainbow board. We have some backdoor spade potential, no diamonds. Um, we also have some weird kind of runner runner straight potential as well. So let's see here. Yeah, we got jack eight with like a gut shot. We got all sorts of random things, but we do have top two, which hopefully should be good right here. Only play marbles if it's a 1651 ticket. You crazy rat bastards. All right. Okay, Shadow Maniac agrees with the three bet. Yeah, you guys are the PLO pros here, so I'm going with chat on this one. So we are gonna go ahead and fire out 562. We're gonna fire half pot here on this flop. I think we just need to start protecting as well, right? Because we do have top two right now, which is most likely good. I mean, we're obviously blocking queens or nines, set of sixes as possible, but for the most part, we're good here. There's lots of 10 jack combos, I think in our opponent's range at least, so they probably have tons of draws. Yeah, exactly, 10 for gutter versus king jack. I didn't say it was my favorite one to hit. And our opponent's just gonna flat. Hey, 2-3 offsuit, 23 with a host. What's up? It's a jazzy little tune. I don't hear that one too often. All right, cruising over and three clubs. A relatively painless card for us. I think our queen nine's still leading here. So pot's at 22.50. I would imagine we're going to fire again. Let's see if he goes for max pressure here. Yeah, and he sure does. We're going to go for pot. And our opponent's going to question mark? They. This is a little... What is this, like 40% of their chips in front of them? And they're just gonna rip, and we're just gonna get it in and hope we don't show up against a set of sixes or threes, I would imagine. This guy could have picked up a huge club draw on the turn as well. So Mufasa saying, seat four has jack 10 king with clubs is my guess, and he repots. Easy call for us. <laughs> CNK says I'm running some marble bio solvers to get ready. You're the best. All right, we're thinking villain has 6-6, six, six, some other votes in there, 7-8-10 jack. And yeah, yeah, pot it is, that's what we're doing. Check raise or pot, pot it is, that's definitely what we're doing. And we're going to get it in here, and you guys were damn right. And against that king-10 too, like you were saying, our gut shot with 8-jack. Um, all right, so yeah, so he does turn clubs against us here. And right now we are leading, but we're going to have to fade a club or a three. Question mark to the river. God, the non-board pair, random clubby, and just ship all the chips. 13 and a half K over right here to our opponent in seat four. We tried. Yeah, random king for the win as well, Poker Boss. I mean, yeah. Wow. He didn't even need that. He's just gonna get the club and go all the way to the promised land for a 13 and a half K river. All right, on to the next one, the final hand of the Torching Cash, the 2550 PLO, but we're going to then dive into the rat hole, and you guys know anything happens in the rat hole. Let's get our blinds out here, cruising around, and a pretty solid hand here, Ace, King, King, Four, single suited with clubs. We're going to definitely open it up here. We're going to make it 175. 
And we're gonna get some folds, folds. Yeah, of Random King. I know I feel you guys in the chat like, ugh, Random King on the river would have been even worse. I'm almost kind of sickly glad he got the club if, if I had to get rivered. All right, so our opponent is going to three bet us up to 550. David Bear 3 in the house. What's up, bud? Thanks for the follow. So we are looking pretty good here. Let's see what we'd like to do. I mean, we don't want to end up running this into aces. So we're going to three bet anyways and see what happens here. We're relatively deep. So we're going to three bet to 1675 and our opponent's going to flat. I'm sorry, we're going to four bet to 1675 and our opponent flats. Ew. 8, 10, 4, rainbow board. We have nothing more than kings in a dream. We also have a random four there on the board. Uh, at this point, we... What do we do here, guys? Our opponent is just going to stuff a healthy two-thirds pot into us. And at this point, we're just... We're hoping to print. So what do, you, what do you guys do here? The way this hand played here. You're sitting here with nothing more than kings. Really, essentially, no sort of redraw of any kind. What do you guys do here? Am I am I super nit if I say I just find the fold and move on? Because I feel like we're basically playing for rolls here, and I'm putting in 5,500 with nothing more than kings on an 8, 10, 4 rag board. I think I probably just find the fold and move on, but that's just me. Nope, pot too big. Put it in, rip it. Everybody, yes, you're a super nit. I love the wide range of... Yes, you're a super nit. Nope. F it. Stuff it. Cram it. I, I would assume that we are going to cram it here. And that's what we're doing. We're cramming indeed. Let's see what we're up against here. We're hoping they just flip over a whole lot of pie gal here. So they have a wicked little wrap straight and a whole lot of potential. Technically speaking, we could be in trouble. We'll see how it goes. Five on the turn, and we're still safe, question mark? And it doesn't pick up any extra redraws. And lots of fades for the river. Wow, and we just did it, we just hold. Well, chat, you guys are right. I'm a nit, and I would have lost out on almost $14,000, so there you go. Yeah, gross that we're going to win. Like, how do we win that? Like. <laughs> I'm just looking at that like nice hand. I mean, the, and if the turn was any sort of hard or anything, or even a spade, it opens up the door just a ton for our opponent. And somehow we just hit miss miss for our opponent and we take down 14K. Good stuff. All right, guys, our next segment, we're gonna go over the ridiculously juicy rat hole hands. Let's go in a little segment I call You Dirty Rat. Shitty gambler saying better than I thought. So what do you guys think? My my creepy light hanging out in the sewer here in the dirty rat hole? It's nice. Very nice. Okay, so for those of you who might be new to the rat hole, it's a pretty simple concept. Uh, this is going to be from a 75-150 game. You can only buy in for 10 bigs, meaning everybody at this table bought in for no more than 1,500, and I'll let you just take a moment and breathe in some of these stack sizes, especially the $56,000 stack on the right. That ran it up from 1500. Feels good, man. MySpace Tom, Sir Fred, what's up, guys? Shitty gambler. Maybe I'm better than I thought. All right, so let's pop this off here. 75, 150. We're going to take the middle position with 810 off. Kind of a weird spot. And we're going to get under the gun, who's going to limp. We got a fold. We're going to limp as well. Not to be overshadowed by the 76K stack. That's irrelevant. Fold, fold, and we have a 750 click up over here by the cutoff, and it's going to cruise around to the button, who's going to fold. Small blind gets out of the way, big blind gets out of the way, under the gun who limps gets out of the way as well. Now guys, I I'm not a crazy high stakes rat hole expert, but I just fold here? But we're never folding, so... Poker's alive and well. Let's just continue. Let's hope we don't three bet. Let's just hope we flat. Although I'd be more than happy to get away. I mean, limp calling 810 off. Not my monkey, not my circus, guys. Let's go. We're going to flat. And flop comes King Jack 10 rainbow. So we still hate our hand. We hated it pre. Still hate my hand on the flop. But we're going to get weird with it and do weird things. 
Uh, so 1,800 in the pot. We're going to check. Our opponent is going to barrel like 98% of the time. And he is going to fire 1180 into 1800, pushing the pot to just over 3k. Uh, 810 is my favorite hand, but what the F are we doing in post flop? Guys, this is why we anonymize those names on here, because you never know what the hell happens in the rattle. So $1,181. I don't know in what world this is ever a continuation. I think this is a fold. Take your cards, rip them up, let the rat eat them, burn them, light them on fire, and throw them in the trash. But we're gonna call. So cool. We're gonna bluff call. Just let it happen. Uh, five of clubs on the turn changes absolutely nothing. Uh, the only card we really wanted to see on the turn was a 10. And even then, I still am not super in love with my life. I <laughs> hope the turn is a 10, please. You guys are so sick. All right, so 4.2k out there in the pot. And we're going to. Are we ever gonna. Just let us fold. We're gonna check again. And our opponent fires $3,200, now pot at $7,400 total. And for the love of God, please let us fold. Please let us fold. No, no, we raise. We just raise. We just raise to $8,500. I don't... Did somebody let their kid's sister, like, play on the computer? I don't know. This could be a very expensive mistake when your niece or nephew takes over your laptop, guys. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna raise with a 10. And they're gonna call. So we hate life. And a random four, <laughs> everybody in the chat saying I just threw up, you guys are the best. So they had a random four peels on the river. And now we have a pair of 10s with 21,000 and some change in the pot. And we're supposed to be the aggressor here at this point. Uh, now, now we check. What, what line with what hand is this guy doing? What is this? What is this is? Are they running it 20 times? I don't know, man. Um, okay, we check and they check. And we're never good here. We're never good. We are never, ever good here. Ever, right? Our opponent just tables aces. And they're good. And why shouldn't they be? Wow. Um, well, all I can say is welcome to the rat hole, guys, where your aces can hold up against an 8-10 offsuit for $21,000. On to the next one. Good talk. So this is a 5,100 rat hole of Hold'em. <laughs> I mean, I can think, I mean, you can literally have, probably have more fun putting all of your cash in a pile and lighting it on fire, like a bonfire, than actually doing what we just saw, but, but who knows? Okay, 5100 rat hole. Once again, you can only buy in for a thousand bucks. So seat eight here had actually just bought in. So did seat seven. There I've got some pretty healthy stacks. 30K, 16K, 8K respectively. And we're gonna take the point of view of the button here with ace king, not 810. Let that be noted. <laughs> Guys, I just love it. These are real hands and these are the big pots and I'm taking the good with the bad. So if somebody wants to barrel off and donate with 810, we're gonna look at it and we're gonna check it out. That's what happens, guys. I do not like cherry pick these hands. I just say, send me the eight biggest ones. Four from the rat hole and four from the regular cash games. And these are what they are and we're looking at them together. So folds around here, gets over to middle position and middle position plus one actually. And he's going to make it 200 to go. It's just a little cheeky min raise. Now a three bet click from the cutoff to a thousand. And again, since this is the rat hole, he just bought in. So this is a starting stack. And in the rat hole, when you have starting stack, you're looking for any two cards that look semi pretty together. And you're just ripping and crossing your fingers and praying to whatever gods you pray to. So now we have 200. We have the all in rip with a or all in rip by a thousand. We have ace king. I'm definitely liking our hands. It's just a matter of are we flatting or re raising? I think we could easily come in, actually, possibly for an argument for both. We could flat. And then if this guy re-raise, re then we could get out of control. I think we come in for, hit him with a re-raise right now. Instead, we're gonna flat. <clears throat> Bottom of your range, you should fold. There we go. Next time, post the screen names. No, we protect, we protect those names of the innocent donkeys because we want them to keep being donkeys. All right, so we're gonna call flat the thousand, gets around here. And yep, 
sure enough, C2, who originally opened the action, is going to click it back up to 4K. Now it's over to us. We got some choices. We got some choices. And now we're going to rip, and that's exactly what he was doing. He was flattening to set the trap. Flat to trap, guys. And so we're going to rip in for 16K, and our opponent now, it's only, what, 12K more to them, and they're 26K? Let's go. Looks like we are playing for rolls, guys. So this is where I don't care who wins this piddly $3,100 main pot. I want the giant ass almost 30K side pot. <laughs> was Drew, was it? Was not bet on Drew. All right, so main pot at 3,100, side pot at 30K. We are up against Kings, and the shorty has ace 10, who's got one of our outs. We are looking a little slim right here. Really slim. Ace 10 is looking ultra slim. And we really need to spike that ace. Gamble Gamble is the epitome of the rat hole, guys. The epitome. That is no help at all. We need an ace and an ace only. We don't even have any runner-runner potential. And no, we're, we're just toasted. We just need one of the two remaining aces for $30,000. Can we find it? No, we can't. And you know what? Good. Justice is served. Kings hold. Good for you, man. Good for you. It's like everybody's so gun shy because of all the bad beats we've taken, right? It's like a little puppy that gets like hit hit with a rolled up newspaper or something, right? It's just like, look, just let my kings hold one time, please. And in this case, they are. They're gonna hold for thirty-three thousand dollars. So take all that money right there, bud. Let's get into some PLO juicy rat hole action right here. Fifty one hundred PLO rat hole. Let's get it on. Again, max buy-in, only a grand. Meanwhile, you have seat two with 65K, seat six with 25K. Looking extra healthy. Seven deuce scoops, you dirty bird. All right, so this is a pretty sweet hand out of the gun here. Ace, ace, jack, nine, double suited to the nut on each. Very, very cool. I am super down with that. So let's go ahead yeah, I, I, I'm with you guys. So I think the general consensus about the last hand over here, guys, real quick, is that you just, you had too much going on pre. And I think with Ace King, you can afford to just do a little pot control. And then when you see a flop of like six high, you know your opponent has at least what? Pocket sevens plus. So they're never folding and you're no good here. So you can just get away without dumping off $16,000. So I'm with you guys, chat. I'm with you. So Ace Ace Jack 9 for us. We're definitely gonna open the action here and we're gonna make it 287.50. Cut off folds over to the button and they're gonna repop up to a grand. And this is music to our ears because I really can't see a world. Oh, sorry, people hit me up about that hand already actually over to my watch. Uh, so I can't see a world where we're finding a fold here. So we got a thousand. Let's see what the blinds do. We're small, he's folding. Big is folding as well. And I think, are we going to click back? We sure are. We're clicking back to a cheeky 3,200. And now our opponent, 16K behind. Let's see if they just want to flat or get out of control. They just want to flat. We can take a flop with this. Lots of great flops in our range. That not necessarily being one of them, but we still have aces. I'm still liking this board. We do have some backdoor flush potential as well with the spade on board. And we're going to fire 2k here. Little third pot bet. And our opponent just flats. Yeah, this is 5100. Oh, yeah, it was not 500, 1000. Yeah, the last hand, if you were talking about, that was a 500 or 5100, bud. 5100 in the rat hole. Yeah, oh, God, a 500, 1000 rat hole. I mean, yeah. We, trust me, we see them. We see the 200, 400 rat holes get a couple hundred thousand dollar pots for sure. So we are just going to fire. This guy just flats. And the turn comes a four. This is starting to get very coordinated in the middle of the road here, and I'm not in love with it. I still like our aces. Unfortunately, that's all we have going for us and no sort of redraw. Our opponent did three bet us pre, so hopefully he doesn't have a whole lot of this in his range, but we're gonna see. At this point, we are just gonna check for a little pot control, play it safe. And our opponent now, there's 10.6 in the pot. He's got 12 and a half. And he's going to bet 3k. So he's going to definitely keep the pressure on us. And we're going to roll with it. Yeah, he could have a random 5 dangler. I feel you. I mean, the same thing with like my random 9 suited dangler. Like, I'm not in love with any of this board at all. I, I My my uh, my warning signs are proceed with caution 100% right here. And so we are just going to check call the turn. 
to the river. A deuce. And God, we have just missed this board entirely. Luckily, both flush draws missed. Like you said, a random five is possible in his hand there. Man, we got aces. I mean, do we just check cry call potentially? Six, six, seven, seven would make it straight. And we check, and our opponent is going to just stuff it. All right, guys, talk to me. So what do we do here with aces? 16K in the pot, our opponent stuffs 9,500. Now the pot's at 26K. Yeah, I, I think we just check call cry, right? We just check call and hope it's good. Is that the general consensus of the chat? It looks like it. Chef David, my man, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Doombot HS says, not folding if I'm calling the turn, in my opinion. I feel you. Sir Fred was on that 6677 train. And Big Mule says, this is why I hate PLO. Hey, Egazi, I'm with you, man. At the end of the day, Ace Ace is just a pair, and people overplay it too much. The way we played it, check call says Poker Boss. Shadow Maniac's also on board with a check call. You're right, the offsuit deuce changes absolutely nothing. <laughs> Unless they had, like, King King, Deuce Deuce. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Lester basically just says, I just just don't play Omaha. Okay, so we are going to call off. I don't think he's good, but probably call. All right, survey says 6-7. Wow. Okay, so he was double suited, and that 6-7 is just good. And he picked up nut diamond draw on the turn, too. Well, cheers to that 35k that could have been ours, fam. Rest in peace, aces. Damn. Well, that's where you say nice hand and walk outside and kick over your trash can or something. 35k down the shit. -a. All right, last hand here of the crazy rat hole debauchery. Then we're going to get you into a little gambling with America's craziest Uncle Joe. Then we're going to shoot some marbles. You guys know how we roll. All right, so we're going to start the Sands just heads up in a 75 150 PLO game here. Again, you can only buy in for 1500. So these guys have accumulated some pretty healthy stacks here. Throw the laptop out the window. We talked about that in the last stream. You know, for some of these pots, man, what's a laptop? 500 bucks for anything that can just play online poker and do some basic word processing at most. If you're losing 30 or 50K, 100K, 500K pots, you just take that laptop and you hit it with a sledgehammer. You have every right to do so. Ace, queen, queen, jack, single suited to the nut. I'm okay with this hand, especially heads up. We'll take it. <laughs> Translucent Fox says, that Uncle Joe's becoming my new spirit animal. He's the uncle that you just can't wait to hang out with on Thanksgiving. You know he's going to get a little toasted, and he's just going to start talking all this smack. So just grab some popcorn and sit back and relax. Boom. All right, so we are going to get it clicked up to 450 here from our opponent. And we're going to click back to 1350. And they're just going to flat. I'm loving this hand as well, Sir Fred. I feel you. Great flop for us. Still an overpair with queens as well as the nut flush draw. I'm totally okay with this hand here. And we're going to fire out 1700 into 2700. And our opponent is going to click up a pretty sizable raise here to 7800. Now what do we do here, chat? Do we just stuff it and say, let's go? I mean, even if he's got a set... We still have some outs. All right, Hooded One says all in. Let's see what we decide to do. We decided to do just that. We decided to grip it and rip it. Just shy of 21,000. We're going to rip in at 20,989.99. Jam, it's not my money. Jam, jam, jam. And our opponent's going to snap call off. Let's see what we're up against. Survey says we are up against, wow, nine deuce four. He's got all the pairs, all the pairs. All the pairs. At least he doesn't have a club draw. But we still have to fade a board pair like he has a set because he's got all the pairs. So, good luck us. Um, wow, we really need a club. Or a queen. Badly. Mm. No, that's just way good. Forest full is way good, bro. Pick your boat. Forest full of deuces, forest full of nines. Yeah, we just torch. We just torch and we send just shy of 45,000 to my buddy over here in seat four. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, not sorry. We're going to torch off some money. 
Good times, guys. Good times. And these are some of the smaller pots we've seen in the rat hole. The rat hole, we have saw a couple $500,000 pots, I think, over the last few shows. So, uh, And toss the, the laptop out the window and then, the, and then yourself out the window. So brutal. You guys are dark. All right, guys. Let's check out America's Favorite Uncle for a quick little bit of gambling. Um, he's loud. He's crazy. You might want to get your, uh, your your finger on the volume button for this one. It's going to be a quick one, but we're going to go shoot a little roulette with Crazy Uncle Joe. What are you doing? I'm betting $2,200 on black right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get even and then get up, baby. Let's go, 2200 black! Yes! I feel like a fucking god! I feel like Zeus! I feel like a fucking Roman god! What can I say, guys? Uncle Joe, man. Uncle Joe. All I'm gonna say is you wish you had as much fun gambling as that man. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, you know it. It's giveaway time. We're gonna shoot some marbles. <laughs> Everybody in the chat, you guys crack me up. All right, it, it's marbles time. We're doing it. Damn, check out that latest follower, y'all. Latest follower, Miss Poker Boss. Shout out to the one and only Miss Poker Boss, Shannon McCormick, who just had a lovely birthday. Did you turn 21 again? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so we're going to get over here. We're going to pick a random race. We're giving away four, count them, four 1650 tickets. Don't type play yet. You guys are absolutely insane. Wait for it. Now you can type play. Now you guys are good exclamation point play in the chat okay so for those of you watching on other platforms who don't know how to play marbles and want to get in this giveaway look directly below me right there giveaway that's how you do it it's super easy you just go to twitch.tv or the twitch app on your phone you type exclamation point play from your free account that you created and that's it it's that simple then you get a marble and we shoot some shit and we just give away stuff so i'm down let's do it all right, somebody in the chat, give me the first song we're gonna race to. I need an energetic, upbeat marble song. Let's go. Latest follower, Rizzy68, what's up? Boom. Let's see it, let's get, let's get it, let's get a crazy marble song. Ooh, a little sabotage to start it out. Mr. Golden Bear, don't mind if we do, let's get it. Woo, baby. All right, so then I have a Remember the Name Fort Minor. We can check that out. All right, all right. Boom. And I believe we have our four Marvel songs now, guys. So you guys are rad. Let's go, let's get it on. 57 of you beautiful babies. We're giving stuff away. We're shooting marbles. Yeah, buddy. Doombot says, bring me marble glory. Andy Games Poker in the lead, starting it off. Core 313. Oh, baby. This one for all the marbles, baby. Let's go. Oh, if I win, if I win, man. If America's Card Room wins, just get ready. I'll tell you what, if America's Card Room wins, we're going to do an extra race all together. And I'll give it to second. How's that? So that's a bonus. So if I win... I give the ticket to second place, and we race for an extra ticket. Because, why not? That's how I roll. Oh, Balance Deranged, Sir Fred, Storman, MySpace Tom, Bot Lady, everybody eating it. 
They going off. You guys are taking a shortcut that doesn't work. Oh god, you ordered. Oh wow, okay, that's the uh, ghost marble. It see the flop tries to. You guys are trying to cheat. You stop trying to cheat and jump the track. Oh well, I'm not gonna win, guys. ACR just ate its ate its doom right there. All right, here we go. Who's in the lead? Core 313 looking ultra strong. Can anybody even compete? Core, don't get stuck here. Don't do it, bro. Oh, let the blender treat you right. Oh, he's out. Oh, Mustang girl off the edge. So close. Good to see you. Miss Poker Boss. Oh, get it. Oh, get it, girl. Oh, is it the birthday marble window? No. We hardly knew you. Goodbye. Oh, and then it's back to core. No, Miss Poker Boss, you almost had it. Core 313 wins. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Wow, cheers, fam. Oh, no. What a sick little, like, uh, slow roll for Poker Boss. Wow, he got to, you already won one before, but he got second again, he's on that. All right, let me mark down these winners here. First one, Core313, go ahead and shoot a direct message here on Twitch to America's Card Room, and I will make sure that you get that ticket, put in your account, just give me your ACR username, and we'll be good to go on that one. What are you crazy people doing? Shitty Gambler says I was the first one to fall if that should count for something. I got news for you. If that counted for something, I would have a lot of freaking kudos points, man. Because I die first in almost all these damn races. Literally, I just got this picture from Miss Poker Boss with just a very disappointed frumpy face. It's still cute though. Still adorable. She's fast. You stole her from her core. That's awesome. She just followed, it was just her birthday, she just joined, she's like, I'm gonna win marbles, and dead. All right, core 313, good job, GG's, GG's, another random track popping off. And of course, our next song, brought to you by the chat. Boom, here's your marble hype song, let's go. Boom, A. Williamson, Tones 1986. I see the follows. I see you guys flooding in. Get in there, get your marbles, exclamation point play. This is gonna be round numero dos. Kicking it off in about 10 seconds. 56, 57, I bet we could hit, well, we're 60, I bet we could probably hit 70. You crazy, crazy people. Yeah, I need to get in there too. All right, let's hit start. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Wow, what is this start? This starts in like, oh wow, everybody just starts in like this crazy roulette wheel here. And then just goes down. Oh wow. Translucent Fox says, I feel good about this one, so of course I'll be last. I got five on and starting out strong. Looks like the track to go on is the right one here. Oh wow, okay, let's just let's just get here for this shit show. Look at this. These cannons are apparently gonna shoot it right in the middle. Sir Fred taking side bets in the chat. I love it. I'm always a fan of a sick marble side bet. Oh wow, everybody goes down to the blender. Oh my god, I got five on it, just shot right down the middle. Then gets stuck in the golf tee section. Thibbity Flab, followed by Sir Manifestos. Oh no, where are you guys going? Where are you guys all going? Bye. Bye, friends. Uh, Flibbity Flab is just flying. Flying around this track. And I think this is just going to be a slam dunk for Mr. Flibbity Flabbity. Oh no, why did I say that? Oh god! 
Where, who's coming in first? It is Flippity Flap Translucent. You were so close, buddy. I can't even see with all of those names there. Wow, uh, you were kind of close, Translucent, and then you just got stuck with everybody. Hey, I finished seventh, yay! Flippity Flab with the win, followed by AD Rock, Mr. Golden Pair in the house, Sir Manifestos in my space, Tom, Sir Fred 2018, America's Card Room, Brother Main 2 3, Offsuit 2 3, Duck Jacks, all rounding out the top 10 there. So, Flippity Flab, go ahead if you would and shoot me your ACR username here in a direct message. And we'll get that ticket put right in your account. I have yet to complete a race. Hey, that run bat is real, South Park says. I don't know what to tell you. All right, let's get the next one set up. Random track, ready to rock. And exclamation point play. Let's roll. Once again, everybody who's watching this and like, what is this? I want to play this. How do I do this, this thing? These marbles of destiny. Really easy. Go into Twitch. Create a free account if you don't already have one. Log into it. Come in the chat. Exclamation point. Play. Super easy. We do this every single stream. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Blackpool 180. What's up? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the fam. Welcome to the marbles debauchery. 64 of you in there so far. 65, let's see, let's see if we can hit 70. I bet we can hit 70. Unstoppable by Sia was the next request after Fort Minor here. And we'll round out marbles with Iggy Pop. <laughs> South Park Sith uses the command exclamation point, use the force, stay on the track, stupid marble. It's probably, it sounds like a solid valid coding command here for sure. <laughs> All right, 68 of you in here, you got 10 seconds. If you haven't got in now, let's kick it off. Poker Boss puts in the Contra code up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, AB start. Well played. Isn't AB select start? Did you forget part of the Contra code, Poker Boss? It's not allowed. Hashtag don't punt. Don't punt in marbles, guys. What is this? Track designed by Shang Soon. I don't know, all I see is the character name from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Man Myth Legend since 94, love the username, dude. Uh, looks like we're just dropping boulders on the track. Let's get a little first person up close and personal here. Oh, we went through the snow. I want to see my marbles graph. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at that. Squeaking through the boulders. Get it, bro. Wow. Speaking of unstoppable, man, myth, the legend just crushing. Until you're... Oh, oh, we got somebody on us. Oh, wow. Who's on us? Fnat. Fnat is on us. I need a new marble. The current one just got fired for lack of effort. All right, cruising around the course. Let's go. And Fnat's still in the lead, but boulders are dropping. World is ending over here. All right, so these are the little golf tees. Do they pop up like the other ones? Oh, they do. So these ones are what have been sending people flying the last couple courses. Hiring marble jockeys. Yeah, who? Does anybody do marble coaching in the chat? Is that a thing? Well, Man Myth Legend has been leading the majority of the time, assuming they can just hold on. Poke me, poke you. All right, cruising. Wow, what are you just slaloming like a champ? You make it look easy, Man Myth. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, it's anybody's game in the Snowflake Blender? What is this? Um, okay. Does it just go over you? Alright, well. Oh, poke me, poke you! Gains the lead! Oh, wow. These also pop up. Oh, don't catch one. Stuck at the boulder. 
It see the flop is back. Oh man, Man Mid Legend got stuck in that snowflake blender. Oh Niz the kid, get out of the chat, bro. Nobody wants your negativity. Get out of here, kid. Wow, everyone, everybody gets stuck in the boulders and flippity flab, you can't win more than once. If flippity flab wins, we're doing another one. Jimmy runs deep, edging out flippity flab right at the end. Right at the end. Boom. Jimmy runs deep. Congrats, congrats. Jimmy runs deep. Go ahead and shoot me here on America's Card Room Twitch a direct message. And we will go ahead with your ACR username and get that ticket put in your account. But we still got one more, guys. All right, hey, Andalorian, what's up, buddy? What's up? We are just shooting some marbles. We've already done three races, but we got one more, so you're just in time to catch the tail end of the fourth race here. All right, I need a good song for the last one, guys. I need a good song for it. Talk to me. Oh, Jimmy runs deep. Uh, do me a favor, shoot that in a, uh, you know what, no, I'll just, I, I already copied it. Don't worry about it, bud. I already got your username, so you're good. You don't need to shoot it to me in a message. All right, who wants to give me the marble song? Rolling on the river. All right, all right, we can do rolling on the river. I caught that right before the Post Malone song, so we'll book that up for the next one. Yeah, rolling on the river for marbles. Titanic theme song. You guys are too funny. I should always, almost never expect a serious answer with the chat when I tell them to do something. Miss Poker Boss, looking for redemption. She's typing in play, exclamation point play. Once again, if any of you are not on Twitch, go over to Twitch, exclamation point play in the chat. Get your marble, get in for the giveaways. All right, 68, can we hit 72 more of you in there? Can we do it? Should bust out my cell phone and do it for my fat train account. All right, we're starting it off. Let's go, final race of the day here on Wednesday, May 13th. Boom, you guys are the best. 68 of you beautiful babies in here. Let's go. Oh my god, you guys are getting hammered drunk around those spinners in the middle. Jordan B, what's up? Already holds track record on another one, going for seconds. Whoa, 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 what is this? I don't know what this is, but I want to see somebody hit this ramp hard. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hope you guys aren't motion sick. We're getting crazy. Jordan B. Jordy B. Hauling on the speed bumps. Meanwhile, half the population falling to the death. Mustang girl, we hardly, hardly knew you. Arcarito, Mike Mercy, what's up? What's up? Jordan B. Cruising down. Cruising around and uh, just surviving so far. Core 313 wants vengeance. Core 313 just says, I already won one. Let's see if we can get another here. Our Carito says, yeah, dead. Already dead. D-E dead. Miss Poker Boss. Wow, who cars? Shitty gambler. Took a shitty gamble on a bad turn there. Flew his marble right off the end. Jordan B. Jordan B checking it. Headed to the spinner. Oh, man. Who's going to get through? Who gets through clean? The stedge. It's see the flop. Oh, wow. This is just going to be the... The slalom down to see who wins here. Oh, can Penny Lemon hold? Oh my god, the Steege! By a hair, the Steege taking it down. 
just edges out Penny Lemon by probably a half a second at most. Wow. Stolen. Absolutely stolen. Sick. The Steege. Go ahead and shoot. And let's do. Let's actually let's do this. Go ahead and shoot me a direct message here on America's Card Room with your ACR username, and we will make it happen. <laughs> Pizza delivery. I like you guys are like so. First person to die gets a ticket, or whoever got in like 18th place gets a ticket. I'm like. I respect the hustle. I really do, guys. But no, that's not how that works. The winners get a ticket. So our four winners are going to be Core 313, Flibbity Flab, Jimmy Runs Deep, and The Steege. So go ahead if you guys haven't done so yet and shoot a direct message here on America's Card Room to me. I will get it right here on America's Card Room on Twitch with your ACR username. And you guys are fantastic. What can I say? Another fun show in the books. We went over some hands, we got some updates, we watched America's Crazy Uncle Joe gamble some stuff. Not a bad day. Hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday hump day. Don't go anywhere, we'll throw you over to somebody else who's degenning poker as we speak. Until next time, I'm Justin Kelly, this is America's Card Room, you guys are the chat, and we'll see you later.